Hey guys, Smoking Briar here, and I've got two church warden pipe cleaners in my pocket, and my brand new Sir Jacopo. This is my inaugural smoke of this pipe, and I wanted to share it with you guys. And uh, these church warden pipe cleaners will pass through this pipe, believe it or not. Through all that curvature in there, they will pass through. I can't get a regular size one through there, it's just a little, they're a little too short, but... Anyway, um, I spent some time thinking about what tobacco I was going to use to, to break in this pipe with, and I chose a blend from a tobacco shop close to my home, um, just over the border in Tennessee, um, on the other side of the Smokies, uh, in Gatlinburg, Tennessee. And it's called the Gatlin Burlier. Um, it's a really nice shop. They've been in business for 35 years. Um, they're located right downtown in Gatlinburg and you can they're actually in a like a, a like a mall type thing but the mall um, has like five floors it's just a small square building but it's a mall that stacks up like five or six floors I'm not sure how many there is exactly but because they've been there so long they're grandfathered in that you can still smoke in the pipe shop there even though it's in the mall so that's pretty cool but the blend I chose is called Newfoundland Blend, and it's a burly blend. Um, and I chose a burly blend because burlies burn cool, um, and Virginias do not. Um, the Virginias burn hot. They have a lot of sugar in them, and they burn hot. And it's not good for a new pipe, especially a new pipe that doesn't have any carbon coating like this one. So I want to talk to you guys about breaking in these new pipes without any carbon coating in them. Um, there's a lot of discussion, always has been, about how to break in a new pipe. Should I fill it a quarter of the way? Should I fill it a half way? Should I do this? Should I do that? Um, this is my opinion, okay? Only my opinion. Yours may vary, but my opinion is to use a very cool burning blend, like a burly, um, and fill it right to the rim. And the reason why I, I say to fill it to the rim is because if you've got an unprotected virgin briar bowl with no carbon on it and you only fill it halfway, when you take that lighter it could burn the sides of that bowl because there's nothing there. There's, it's just, there's no tobacco, there's no nothing. And when you've got a brand new unprotected briar, the last thing you want to do is scorch it or torch it or, you know, do anything to it that could affect the taste of your tobacco down the road. Um, some guys talk about putting honey in the bowl, you know, wiping honey around it um, to protect the briar. I don't believe in that for the simple reason that yes it'll build a cake faster and the ash that you have left will you know will stick to the honey but honey is soft and it it'll eventually soak into the cake that's built and it'll crumble on you and then you're going to have a mess in the bowl and I just don't I'm not a big fan of using honey but again like I said these are my opinions so um, let's get this fired up one of the other things too about the virgin briar bowl like this is go very very easy with the lighter just touch it just enough to get that tobacco to you know lit um, until that briar gets um, seasoned you know so let's fire it up first time and that's all I'm gonna do Burley is a tobacco that burns 
very easily. This has been properly dried, so it takes the flame very easily. Get one more light on it. Notice I didn't hold the lighter on the tobacco and just let it burn. You have to be very patient when breaking in a new pipe, especially one with no coating. See how well that stays lit? One of the most important things you can do when breaking in a new pipe is to smoke it slowly. Very slowly, guys. If you're in a hurry, if you don't have the time to sit down and do that and smoke it very slowly, wait until you do. You don't want to get this pipe hot. You don't want to char that briar and the inside of that bowl at all. You know, some of you guys that smoke cigars, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, you know, you, you take your cigar and you hold the torch lighter up to it. The last thing you want to do is, is char that cigar, burn it, so that it, it imparts that nasty taste into your cigar the rest of the way. Same thing with the pipe. You don't want to char that briar. You want to let the flavor that's in the briar wood come into the tobacco and just build up that cake slowly, slowly until it, the bowl is protected. And you've got to have patience. You've got to have patience. Just barely touch it. And it's going again. And I smoke a full bowl, like I said, to protect the sides of the bowl from catching the flame. That would be drawn all the way down to, you know, the mid, middle of the bowl or the bottom of the bowl if you only filled it a quarter of a half or a halfway. Um, I'll probably only smoke this bowl halfway down, but I'll continue to fill it to the top until at least the top half, the beginning half of this bowl builds up somewhat of a protective coating so that the briar itself can't get burned. After that, then I'll start smoking it from the halfway point down to the base because I know that the top will now be protected. So that's the way I break in a new pipe. I hope that helps maybe some of you new guys. And um, Choosing the right tobacco to break in a new pipe is very important, guys. You don't want to use a, a aromatic or a hot burn in Virginia. Try to find a cool smoking blend. I recommend Burley um, because Burley has no sugar in it, and it's very easy to air dry, and it just it's a good burning tobacco. Um, and another thing too is I consider Burley a neutral flavored tobacco meaning that it doesn't impart any flavoring into the briar because we all say, oh, I'm going to take this new pipe I bought and I'm only going to smoke English blends in it or I'm only going to smoke aromatics or, you know, but how often do we do that? You know, we may start out smoking an aromatic in a pipe, but then later on down the road, whether it be a month or a year, chances are you're going to put something else in there. So by a neutral blend, like a neutral tobacco that has you know, it, it, it doesn't have any Latakia that's going to overpower the pipe or any, uh, you know, aromatic, uh, whatever the flavoring may be, it's not going to ghost your pipe. Um, Burley, if I start smoking this pipe in Burley, I can easily change this to a Virginia pipe, a Latakia pipe, and, and I'm not going to get any ghosting. So, okay, guys, that's it for me. Um, I would appreciate you guys stopping by and sharing this first smoke with me and um, that's how I break in a new pipe so I'm gonna sit here and finish uh, finish at least half this bowl and uh, enjoy this nice day here in North Carolina and I hope you guys have a great weekend thanks for watching talk to you later